How's it going guys? Today I want to do a little something different. I want to talk to you about if you're one of the ones like me that hunts public land I want to talk to you about where I think you should hunt and where you should probably avoid and I want to have a little bit of a focus on Shelby Forest um, Shelby Forest and Eagle Lake, they're both kind of one and the same. They're all one big pre piece of property. Um, the reason why I want to talk about that a little bit is because it's the closest public property to the Memphis area, and it's the most heavily populated uh, as far as deer hunting population. There's more hunters per acre in Shelby Forest than anywhere around, I believe. Um, so let me start off by taking you up to the shop and showing you some of the deer that I've killed there, this is by far not all of them, but there's a handful of them I've got laid out here. I just want to show you, just to show you the caliber of deer that Shelby Forest had once upon a time. Um, and then I want to talk about the decline in the deer population at Shelby Forest. So let me go and show you some racks. So guys, these are a few of the highlights of some deer that I've killed at Shelby Forest. I mean, that's a big dude, no matter where you're at. That came from Shelby Forest. Every single one of these came from Shelby Forest. That's a big dude right there. Killed that on the north end. That one, you see a video on my channel where I killed that one two seasons ago. That's a Shelby Forest buck. 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 All these little dinky ones like this, these little basket rack deer. Shelby Forest used to have tons of these. I've got more racks back in the back that's just like this, more than I can count from killing those over the years. Um, which you'll see typically a lot of the Mississippi River bottom bucks, they don't get a lot of time length. So you see a lot of deer like this, it'll have a lot of points, but they're not really tall. And rarely you'll see some that's like that that's got some really good long tines. Now this deer, I recorded this hunt years ago before I had a YouTube channel. That's a pretty big deer too. Actually, I think I shot his point off right there. It's hard to tell. If not, he had just broken it right before I shot him. But I'll show you the clip of that real quick. He crashed no more than 25, 30 yards from my stand. Look at this, would you? I got a, a giant. Here, let me back up so you can actually see him. And I shot him. I shot at him three times. The last time I hit him right in the neck. But I actually think I shot one of his points off. I, can't, I couldn't really tell. But anyways, look at what a pig. I got him with a Remington 870 slug gun. Which is what is awesome. I killed this guy. At, uh, on Shelby Forest. Pretty nice deer. I killed this guy at Shelby Forest. Killed that guy, that eight point up there at Shelby Forest. Okay guys, let me take you down a little bit of a rabbit hole. I want to show you some resources available on the TWRA website. If you'll go to their homepage and go to their hunting tab, I'm going to show you a report that you can run. If you'll scroll past all the links that are right there at the top, 
you'll see a little thing that says Hunter's Toolbox. I'm going to click that and open up the little portal. And it's going to give you bear harvest report, deer harvest report, and turkey harvest reports. Now, I'm a deer hunter, but if you're a bear hunter and a turkey hunter and you want to look that up, you can do that as well. So, I'm going to look up deer hunting reports. Now, all you have to do is click in a date range, a start date range. So, like, if you want to look up last year's hunts, you would type in uh, the 1st of August. So, you make sure to capture the velvet hunt. And then you would go all the way through the end of January to cover the entire season. And then over here where it says location, you can do it by county or WMA. Personally, I don't really care how many deer were killed in Sh uh, Shelby County or Tipton County. I really care about the WMAs. I'm a public land hunter, so I would run that report. I've already run a couple of the reports, so I'll show them to you real quick. This is the report from last year, and it tells you all of the deer that were killed the entire season. So uh, what I'd like to focus on right now is Meeman Shelby Forest. This, is, this piece of property is 12,000 huntable acres and it has the maximum number of hunters. And if you can see this report, they killed 10 bucks, no button bucks, and four does. 14 deer total on 12,000 huntable acres. That is one buck for every 1200 acres that is just absolutely insane i mean i hunted a small hunting club of 240 acres when i was a kid and we killed more deer than that on 240 acres and this land is closed most of the week they're only open monday wednesday and saturday and you have to shoot a muzzle loader or a shotgun and they killed 14 deer now i'm fairly certain that some people have killed deer out there that didn't check them in or didn't check them in as having killed them on public land but just the same 14 deer claimed is still a relatively no, low number and that's significantly lower from last year so last year they killed 21 bucks which is double what they killed i mean uh, the 2020 season they killed 21 bucks which is double what they killed in the 2021 season um and they killed eight does which was pretty significant but it's nothing in comparison if you go back a handful of years. So this is the 2006 report. And this is what I remember being normal, which is still relatively low given the amount of land. 38 bucks, one button buck, eight does. So almost 50 deer. The same thing is true in the 2005 season. 38 bucks, one button buck, 10 does for a total of 49 deer. So roughly 50 deer. In comparison to this year, they killed 14. This past year, they killed 14. So that's less than one-third of what they used to shoot out there. And you're talking about 12,000 acres. And, and there's so many people out there, there should be a lot more deer being harvested out of that property. I just, the, the deer are not there anymore. Yes, you can hunt there. Yes, you can still kill deer. But you're talking about... 14 deer were killed now how many hunters do you think are out there a lot more than 14 i can tell you that so not everybody got a deer so i guess the point i'm trying to make is you might want to do the homework and try to figure out somewhere better to hunt so my recommendation to you is to come here and pull the report i wouldn't worry about the historical data from 2006 and 2005 because it's irrelevant now with the cwd what i would look at is the numbers of deer killed and then relate that to the number of acres um, that's huntable for that WMA. So like for me, I went with Natchez Trace. So Natchez Trace um, is about a two hour drive from Memphis. It's 48,000 acres, which is four times the size of Shelby Forest. I got it. But they killed 130 bucks. So they killed 13 times the number of bucks and four times the size of a property. So that's fairly significant. Um, they also killed 82 does and 16 button bucks, which is also significant. Uh, so I really think that you could do a lot better by going through these different WMAs and finding one that's optimal driving distance for you that has the right number of deer harvested because you'll notice a lot of these properties are relatively small you see relatively low numbers of deer killed but a lot of these are bottom lands where duck hunters go and so there's there's they're mostly wetlands so you really got to pay attention to the numbers 
Um, so if you'll see, let's see, let me go and look up John Tully and show you. Um, John Tully last year killed 37 bucks. Now John Tully is over 15,000 acres, um, which puts it fairly comparable in size to uh, Shelby Forest. But they killed 37 bucks at John Tully versus 10 bucks at Shelby Forest. And John Tully, you could shoot a big rifle, you could hunt seven days a week, and they still killed four times the number of bucks on John Tully than they did Shelby Forest. The deer are just not in Shelby Forest anymore. Whether it's because of CWD or the laws that changed with CWD allowing people to shoot does. Um, once upon a time at Shelby Forest, once the gun season came in, you could no longer shoot does. They were off limits. Since CWD came around, it was three does a day, so that significantly lowered the population. Uh, there's a serious population of coyotes in Shelby Forest. There's a serious population of wild hogs in Shelby Forest. I think the wild hogs have probably pushed a lot of the deer out of the river bottoms, pushed them up into the hills. Um, a lot of the hills around Shelby Forest is private uh, or safe zone. And I think all of those kind of contributed to a perfect storm to really kill the deer hunting at Shelby Forest. So I show you this so that before the gun season gets here, you might want to pick a new spot to hunt. I really think that John Tully is a good spot. I really think that Land Between the Lakes is a good spot. I think Natchez Trace is a good spot. I think the Wolf River Bottoms is a good spot. I would avoid Shelby Forest. I think that place needs a break. I think people need to slow down on shooting them or there's not going to be anything to shoot out there but hogs. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful. Pull these reports, guys. Look at these maps. Don't waste your time on places that aren't going to produce. Go somewhere that's actually got deer. It's not going to do you much good having a place that's close to home that you can hunt three, four, five weekends in a row if there's nothing to shoot. You know, it, you'd be better off taking one long weekend going somewhere good and you might come home with some deer, right? So... Look at the maps, do the homework, figure out where you want to go, take that long trip, take you a scout trip before you go, and I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you all have a great 2022 season. I'll see you in the stand. You guys have a good one.